Hi everyone, in this video we will create a class diagram for a school management system. Okay, so I have already created the classes. Uh, later we will create the attributes and methods for these classes. And finally we will create uh, the relationships between these classes. So first let, let's take uh, an overview of uh, the classes that we have in this uh, school management uh, system. Uh, the first uh, class is the school management system with us okay the second one is the bus that we have in this and the third one is this classroom the student the department class and the student has two classes in high school students and primary school student uh, primary students and then we have auditorium in this uh, school management system and also employee we have non-teaching employee and teaching employee and then we have a lab in the school and the lab has the equipment in the liquid equipment we have two types of equipment in lab equipment and class equipment so these are the classes which are included in um, school management system now let's move to the um, attributes and methods for this uh, school management system so these are the attributes for school management system the school name address contact number and uh, medium of study okay and the methods for school is school details and is it open or not the second class for us is the bus for bus we have bus id driver id area list bus number capacity okay and uh, the bus also have the methods of bus detail and show seats uh, we have classroom class, class ID, class name, teacher ID, student count, and equipment ID. And also the class detail is a method for class. The department which has these attributes, okay, and the methods for department. And the student, the attributes for the student, and the uh, student details or methods for student. Then we have these higher and primary school students and employee that attributes for the employee employee id employee name salary department id and the detail chicken and receive salary these are the methods for employee lab the lab has lab id in charge id lab name and equipment id and these are the methods for lab and the equipment has equipment id cost and equipment detail purchase equipment repair and lab equipment and class equipment those are the attributes for lab and the uh, uh, methods and also per class uh, i think we don't have any yes methods here okay so that was an extra one so these were the uh, attributes and methods for um, class school management system so now let's move to the relationship between these classes so the first one is that you know that in a class diagram we have the associations relationship inheritance and uh, in association then we have unidirectional composition and aggregation uh, so the inheritance that we have used here means generalization in this um, class diagram that is between the student and the um, higher school and primary school okay that is generalization okay it is the general class per them um, higher school student primary school student okay so it is a general student is a general class for them and these are the specific classes for them but that it is a generalization relationship between the student another generalization or inheritance that is the employee and net teaching and teaching staff okay teaching employee so here um, the employee is a general class for them and these are the specific classes for them non teaching staff and the teaching staff uh, and also we have one another general um, generalization that is between equipment and class equipment and lab equipment okay the equipment is the uh, general class for them and these two are the specific classes for them and also i should remove these the extra ones okay 
And now let's move to the aggregation. Okay, uh, the aggregation is between bus and school management system, and also the school management system and the student. These two are the aggregation relationship. Okay, these these are also association, but these are the type of aggregation. Now let's move to the composition. Okay, the composition it is also association, a part of association, a type of association. Association the. School and the department has composition relationship, and the lab and the equipment has the uh, composition relationship. And now let's move to the unidirectional uh, association that is between class and bus, and the student with classroom, and also the school management system with the auditorium. And yeah, that's enough. So these were the uh, the relationship between classes uh, in school management system. So it was all about class diagram for school management system. I hope you got something from this class diagram. And so to create a class diagram for school school management system, you can extend it. Okay, you can extend or just decrease some classes from it that depends on your requirement okay so whenever we are creating uh, uh, a class diagram so we need to create that according to our scenario okay that we have according to our requirements we are creating based on that keep it in mind okay whenever you analyze your requirements so you can easily create your class diagram from that from those requirements so i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, uh, if, and if you are new to my youtube channel so please subscribe it and thanks for watching